Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today um, I'm going to do a short video on underpainting. I've had some questions about uh, whether you should use an underpainting with acrylics or not. And it's not necessary, but it is helpful. So I have a canvas here. I'm going to do um, an underpainting that is using my favorite mix, which is uh, yellow ochre with a tiny little bit of burnt umber, just to dull it down a little bit, and then mix with enough water to give it a consistency of maybe light cream. So it's not runny, but it's not thick. Because a thick paint would give you uh, ridges and bumps on your canvas, and all we really want to do is just give it a light covering just to cover up the white so the white doesn't show through when you're painting. Um, the other reason for an underpainting too would be um, painting on a white canvas, it's very hard to get uh, the proper values because a light color would fade into the white. The dark, your darks would look too dark against the darkness of the white. So giving it an underpainting such as this one would help you to get your values uh, more accurate. And I usually start with the edges of the paint, of the canvas, and just give it a light, uh, a light covering. And don't forget to get into these little corners because they tend to stand out. Um, it, it's nice to give the edges a good coat too because <laughs> if you're like me a lot of times I forget to paint the edges of my canvas and then you go to hang it on the wall and you got the stark whiteness on the side and at least if you have um, a toned underpainting it, it's not quite so stark <laughs> so just to give it a light coat because you don't want too many ridges and bumps and such on it unless of course you're uh, doing a really textured painting and in that case it wouldn't matter so there so the edges are covered and then we'll do the front so you can just put it on making sure that you cover most if not all of the whiteness of the canvas And as I said, it's thin, and if you need to, you can always add more um, water to your paint to, to make it thinner, to make it uh, spread easier. And I'll show you in a minute, but this is not the only color you can use for an underpainting. You can use almost anything. Depends on um, what exactly you're going to be painting, what your picture is going to be. Once you've got it all on, just go over uh, lightly to get rid of most of the brush marks. To give it a smoother finish. And then you can let it dry. And once it's dry, it's much easier than to draw on your, your uh, picture that you're going to paint, your, your reference lines rather than uh, on the white of the canvas. The other good uh, use for an underpainting is I have this painting here that I covered with gesso because it was an old painting that I wanted to reuse. Now well, I gotta cover it with this. <laughs> but sometimes when you do a gesso, you can still see underneath the, the previous picture. So if you're, if you take your, um, ground and give it a quick coat it tends to cover it up uh, pretty completely so then you don't have to worry about being distracted by the lines of the previous painting <clears throat> or the previous painting showing through uh, to your next painting <laughs> it's a good idea to reuse canvases when you can because everything is expensive these days so you just do the same thing and then just give it a uh, a light uh, brush to smooth out the brush strokes. Yeah. 
Now, as I said, you don't have to just use yellow ochre. You can use anything you want, really. I've gotten some stuff together. This one has uh, burnt sienna. This one is just a light gray. You can use uh, a little bit of ultramarine, mix of white to give you a, a lighter color if you're painting a lighter color painting. But anything will work as long as you can cover up the white of your canvas. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this brief tutorial. And if you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.